Hey Scorpio singles, it's Goddess Pup and this is your singles love prediction. I'm jumping into it with the tarot for my single Scorpio spirit. What do my single Scorpios have in store in love? Singles love prediction for my Scorpios. What can my single Scorpios look forward to in love for my Scorpio singles? right we got the page of potions so there's clearly going to be a pleasant surprise coming in for you four of presents so someone's been withholding from making you a love offer but they're gonna do it yep ace of presents <laughs> i knew it someone's gonna offer you a new beginning and stability some it could be someone new for some of you but I feel like there's someone from the past who wants a new beginning and they're going to be offering you a new stable beginning with them. And we got the three of presents. Yeah, they want teamwork with you. They want to work with you. They want something long term. Oh my gosh. And right, right before I say that, or right after I said it, seven of pentacles. They want something long term. They want to, they want to offer you a new stable, abundant beginning. They want to, they, I feel like they've been saving up money for you, for you too. Like they've been planning for the future with you financially. I feel like they've been saving up something, doing some type of work so they can offer you this big prize, this stable new beginning, whether it's on themselves or on their finances or both. The overall energy is the wheel of fortune. So I see like this person has been saving up money for you. That is, a, that is odd. I've never gotten that in a love reading. This person has been saving up money for you. Because <laughs> they, they see you as a long-term investment. Maybe they want to shower you in some gifts. We got a lot of pentacles here. Four of uh, pentacles, ace of pentacles, three of pentacles, seven of pentacles. This is a very pentacly, <laughs> financially stable, grounded blessing of a relationship. There's someone who want to come in and shower you, Scorpio, or you want to do that to someone. Someone trying to shower someone with gifts. I mean, I mean, the pentacles just coming out every which way. Well, let's get these uh, clarifiers. The pentacles just falling, just raining. Hallelujah, it's raining clarifying the page of potions is the ace of cups so you got two of the best aces in my opinion you got the ace of cups and ace of pentacles abundance financially and stability and love a new beginning in love like if you were unsure about this page of cups being a pleasant surprise a love offer it's a double confirmation that yes it is and then we got the queen of pentacles you got love and wealth Love and wealth. You win it on both fronts. Clarifying the four of pentacles, which I think is grounding in stability. I feel like someone's been saving up their money. You got the six of pentacles. I feel like you both may have been saving up. There's, oh my God, the chariot, cancer. There is someone who's saving up to take you out on a date or something on, or a trip. They've been saving up money to take you out on a very good time. I'm getting that. It could be a cancer involved, doesn't have to be. There's someone who's been saving up to take you out. Clarifying the ace of presence is the star card, Aquarius. Yeah, someone's been hoping, praying, and wishing to heal this with you. Again, this could be a new person, but for some of you, this is a past person. They've been hoping and praying for a new beginning with you. On They want to start off on the right foot with you with this ace of presence because they're planning on starting something on a strong foundation that they can build on because they see long term with you and we got the eight of swords they've been thinking tirelessly about this they've been praying and praying and hoping to wish or maybe this is something you've been praying for but there's someone here who's been praying and hoping and wishing for this and they're gonna get it they're gonna get this new stable love because we have someone handing someone a present this is the ace of pentacles and then we got the queen of pentacles holding it in her hand so whatever offer someone is making someone is going to take it 
And it's going to be very grounded. I feel like someone just wants to spoil someone and show them that they can do right by them. Clarifying the three of pentacles is the five of cups. So yes, there was some past disappointments because there wasn't teamwork in the past. I don't know if it's with this person or with someone else. I do feel like this is, for some of you, this is a past person. And it's clarified by the eight of pentacles. This person has been working on themselves. They've been working very hard on themselves or you have been working very hard on yourself. Vice versa, someone who has been putting in the work because they're disappointed about their actions in the past, how they weren't being a team player. In the past, this person did not give equally. Could have been financially. They weren't giving equally financially. But this person was not putting in the time, energy, and effort that they should have in the past. There wasn't equal give and take. And this person went off to save up on their money or to ground themselves in some way. And they worked very hard on themselves because they were disappointed about how they didn't work with you in the past. And now they want to come back in and make it right. King of Wands. And they're coming in hot. Okay. They want to swoop you up off your feet like he got her. He's like, I got you. Whether you're male, female, whatever. There's a, a masculine fire energy. And this could be a woman, man, Whatever gender, there's someone who's taking on that masculine energy and masculine energy is just the one that's taking the action and doing the feminine is receiving. So this person wants to come in and swoop you off your feet and show you a good time. They want to show you that all the energy and effort you put into them, they trying to give it back to you and then some. They're going to take charge of this situation. And it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone who just has fire in their chart, or just taking on this energy. But there's someone who's going to take charge and take the lead in this. And then we have the Emperor, Aries. So there's definitely, the highlighted signs I'm seeing is... Um, we got the Wheel of Fortune, so that's a Sagittarius and Taurus and Aquarius, and I keep forgetting the fourth sign for that. I think it might be Cancer. I can't remember. We got the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> we got Cancer here. We got Aquarius here, and we got Aries, and I'm getting strong Sagittarius. Overall energy is the Three of Wands. They're coming in, and they're coming in hot. I mean, we got the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. And I thought I saw another three. But anyway, this person wants a new beginning with you. Again, they want to give you back what you gave them in the past. They, I feel like this person wants to take you out and spoil you on a nice date. They want to shower you with gifts. They're going to show you a good time. Your ships are coming in financially. Their ships are coming in financially. And they just want to show you. A good, they want to heal this. Center of this reading is a star card. They want to heal this with you. They want to do right by you. And they're going to take charge of the situation. I'm going to get you your final oracle card message. This is a beautiful thing. This person truly does want to heal this with you. I mean, and they're making the necessary changes to do so by working on themselves and healing themselves. They're, they're making the absolute necessary changes to do so. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about that. grab two I guess they want me to read both the right way learning to create what you desire follow the white rabbit curiosity meets opportunity overall nonsense it's time to talk sense so there could be someone here overthinking the situation, making, turning something into, or turn, making something out of nothing, overthinking it pretty much. And um, Spirit is saying, stop the nonsense, stop that Eight of Swords energy, stop the, stop the BS. Go for what you want. There's clearly something that you desire here. And we can't go for it for you. Follow that curiosity. This person clearly wants to show you a good time. If they pull up and open that door and you got they got gifts surrounding you, you better go or I will. I'll see you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.